day where maybe some of the injuries your team has been dealing with caught up or just a day where uh, couldn't hang on to the ball? I would say certainly, you know, I mean, we're never going to, uh, you know, talk about a whole lot about the guys that are in there. I mean, for, for numerous reasons, just for no excuse for, for injuries. And, and, you know, we try to get everybody ready to go. Um, we knew what the conditions were going to be. And, uh, and our hope was that uh, we could play well enough to take care of the football and, and force them into um, mistakes that would, you know, lead to turnovers for us. You know, unfortunately, that, uh, that clearly did not happen. And so, you know, we have to give them credit for taking care of the football and, uh, and winning the football game. Mike, is there anything you need to say to, or ask, do you feel like you need to say to uh, Ryan after a game like that, or do you feel pretty confident in his ability to turn this out? Yeah, I mean, I think that we've seen Ryan um, perform at a high level. And, uh, you know, offensive football at any level is, is – takes 11 guys, you know, and so there was a lot of good football out there. Unfortunately, we, we turned the football over um, too many times, way too many times. And I felt like our defense battled, uh, and, and our offense certainly was, you know, its own worst enemy. What kept the offense from getting into a rhythm? No, no point, just a very late in the third quarter. Yeah. Mistakes, mistakes, and uh, you know, that, that's unfortunate, you know, because you could – we put some drives together. We gained yards and just couldn't finish. And again, just felt like a, we were on our own worst enemy. And it was, you know, we'd get into some drives and then not be able to convert or um, or turn the football over. Looked like they were intended for, for Dez. I wondered if there was maybe any miscommunication or if, or if a route was, was incorrect. Turn the ball over to me. Mike, after the first touchdown, did you consider going for two? You talked during the week about Taylor's ability to make things happen, scrambling. Did what he do today, some of what you feared, kind of? Certainly. Yep. Yeah. You want Chester? That was, yeah, I mean, again, I, hold on. You know, I mean, it just, we, we talked all week, and, you know, I felt like we played, re, you know, well defensively, but, you know, really not well enough. I mean, that was, uh, you know, when you get everybody covered and, and, and you, you give up the quarterback scrambles, it's really making him not making him earn anything. That, that's, uh, that's kind of giving it to him. So, you know, we have to be better and we have to understand that the, how, how the game is being played, what his ability is. Um, and, uh, you know, they were able to, you know, he did that twice, and that's, you know, that's, that's not good enough. Picking up on that, is it surprising the pass rush is consistent as it's been? Can, can go a game like that without being maybe more influential? I don't know how many times they drop back and threw it. They sprint it out. Um, quarterback took about two steps and took off and ran around the edge. So I don't I don't know that the pass rush was the was the issue today, Paul. You want Chester to fail out of that situation, or do you want him to stay there and try to engage with the returner? To- with, with the guy going to try to down the ball, which seemed to be what he was trying to do. We would like him to, to not touch the football. What did Billiard give you in, in his biggest playing time today in the offense? Look, looked like he played hard. You know, looked like he played fast. I was excited about watching him play and, you know, went and made a tackle on, you know, on the, on the interception. And, um, He's going to earn more opportunities. He really is, and you know he's only going to get better. Um, he's out there going, and you know that that's a lot of uncharted water right there. You know, going going hurry up, two minute, and there's a million calls, and you would have um, this the conversation that you know for him to be able to get the call, get lined up, you know, um, so give him a lot of credit, give Tony a lot of credit for getting him ready to go. Uh, so hopefully we can, you know, continue to use him. Is it doubly frustrating given like how your message leading up to this game was urgency, and then the way you guys started out? I don't know. It's frustrating. You know, I mean, I don't know if it, you know, it's either you're frustrated or you're not. You know, I'm not. not never gonna be. I mean, just disappointed for for everybody. You know, for for our football team. You know, we put a lot into it every week, and you know, we try to try to turn the page and make sure that whether you win or whether you lose. Um, Figure out who you got, 
take care of the keys, understand the keys, try to coach them, teach them, and you know, we just, again, got off to a bad start, turned the football over, and, and ran out of time. Well, there were days, Mike, where you needed somebody to kind of make a play to give you a spark, and it didn't happen until too late, and does that lead to, to pressing in some ways? I mean, it, I thought we made some plays. I don't think that it was, it was, there was a lack of plays being made. Well, you know, they, they took care of the football. We didn't, we didn't turn the football over, but I thought we made some plays. We gained some yards. There were some positive plays. Um, but, you know, we hit the, hit the one late and then, you know, came back with a mistake after that. So, um, you, you know, maybe, maybe you press a little bit. I, I don't think, you know, you put yourself in those positions where you're down in, in the situation you need a couple scores or touchdowns, certainly, that, you um, you know, you're just starting to run out of time. You, know, you had to run out of time. AJ went out. You were down to basically three healthy receivers. Did that limit what you could run or call out of three wide and, and spread uh, in any way? Uh, we ran ran what we had, and again, we're going on the ball a lot, so it's not that big of a menu. I mean, it's it's a large menu, but you know those guys are all comfortable with it. I know you've you seen a lot of really good teams during the six-game winning streak. I know you'd be complimentary of the Jets and the. What's the question, dude? The, the Jets and the Texans have not beaten a lot of good football teams. Why are they? Yes, we, we, we got beat today. We turned the ball over five times. You know what I mean? It's like you guys don't. You know, you guys all cover this league. You know, you do. If you don't play well in this league, I don't care who it is. You turn the ball over in this league, you're going to lose. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody believes that. But when you when you do that, it doesn't matter what the record is. Uh, we had five turnovers. They had zero. Right? You're going to lose the game 99% of the time. Execution, obviously, not there today. Mike, what about just effort and emotion? Were you happy with those two components? Yeah, I mean, it, well, again, you have to evaluate the effort. It's, it's kind of hard sometimes to, to see uh, playing and play out. But I'm sure there's going to be... Um, you know, when you watch every single snap, there's going to be some plays where you're like, man, we need to, to have a little better effort. But, I mean, I think that gets graded over the course of the entire football game. Um, so we'll, we'll coach and, and point out all the effort, you know, next week. That's never been an issue, I don't think, since, since I've been here. Um, you, the attitude, talked about the attitude. Defense, give them credit. They just went out wherever they put the ball down and try to play defense. Um, you know, felt like the offense tried to convert, tried to go down there, and then again, we just turned the ball over and, and got stopped. So, What can you say about this, Fitzpatrick? Like, it's been a gradual buildup, and now he got his first touchdown. What can you say about, you know, just the way that process has gone for him and to this point? Well, you know, it's uh, it's been good to see Dez go out there, practice, perform, improve. Um, helped us today and we just have to go and and take a look at what you know these the, the whether the route or the throw or the protection um you know trying to continue to get him to play you know physically uh, use his skill set use his length um, but it was good to get him out there and get him some work got some catches and you know i saw there was a you know, big play there late in the game on a on a conversion so uh, coming from where he's been you know, I think that that says a lot to, to who he is and, and, and our ability to, to get him ready and, and also, most importantly, his ability to, to go out there and improve. You mentioned that the stage was sort of the undoing on offense. Was there any common thread? There's some mental errors and something else to that? Um, no, we just turned the ball over five times and, you know, maybe dropped a pass here or there, missed a block here or there. It's just hard to overcome, you know, the turnovers and, you know, there was a few penalties on defense that I felt like extended drives and, and cost us. Well, good some good plays from Elijah Roll and also a rookie that's kind of stepped up today. What'd you like about him? It, you know, I think he keeps getting better. You know, I think he keeps improving. Um, plays with um, you know toughness and demeanor. Great tackle over there late in the game. You know those guys fighting and competing. Uh, that was a huge play that that forced another punt. You know. Sent him on a blitz, and, and you know, obviously they didn't they didn't block him, but you know, he's still going and, and competing, and I think he's getting better every week.